Well guys, we actually wrapped up corn planting. I about said harvest. We actually wrapped up corn planting already. Uh, we just finished, I, I just got back to the tractor from doing uh, my 100 acres up there that I had to do with the shorter day corn. And my uncle and dad finished up earlier, which they, they switched their planter over already to beans and they've been working for the last probably two hours on beans. So now I'm going to switch my planter over to beans as well. I don't have any beans this year, but we're going to run my planter and tractor on their ground to get beans wrapped up just to get done. Seems like it went really, really fast, which it did, because we got completely done with corn in, uh, well, six days. Today's day six. So in five and a half days, and we got rained out one day. So it's pretty good. Uh, we really go gun ho though. I mean, we had great weather minus the one day. So we were just hammered down and we got all of our corn in just super fast. We were pushing about, we averaged about 450 acres a day between both planters. So it didn't take long to uh, cover everything. And we don't have a whole lot of soybeans. We are like three fourths uh, corn and a quarter beans. So. I don't even know how many acres they have, but not a lot, probably just a few days worth and we'll be done with beans as well. But anyways, what we got to do now is run outside. There's a bird in here. Hmm. We're going to run outside, switch the planter over. We're going to take uh, the vacuum and up some buckets. We're going to get the corn out of there, then we gotta switch all the planter plates, meter plates over to soybean plates, and put it all back together, go plant some soybeans. <laughs> Okay, now that we got the majority of the planter switched over, let me show you what we're actually doing and what I'm talking about. So these are the seed plates, and this one's for soybeans. It has a lot more holes in here, which these are all spots for the seed. And that's because soybeans, you plant about six times more seed per acre than you do corn. So I took the corn ones out, I vacuumed all the boxes out, you gotta get all the kernels out of there. I cleaned up these seed meters right here. And uh, now I got to switch. I got to move this brush straight, drop that pin and flip that wire back there. Just like that. We'll take our plate. Put it on there and then we'll clamp it down. There we go, then we got the vacuum cap and hose hooked back on. And basically what that does is this whole tube here is a vacuum and uh, it basically just sucks the kernels in. And then it, this spins on the chain and uh, it depends how your planer is set up, but most of them are hydraulic, uh, hydraulic motors. And then that just runs off of your speed of how fast you're going which will spin that and then drop the seed right out of here, which comes down through there and out through there. Now it's time to call the boss man and uh, see what he says. See if he's ready for it. Ready to 
Dusty. Yeah, do you want this planter somewhere for beans? Nope. We'll just leave her there. Me and Craig will fix her up tomorrow morning. Oh, that's ready to go. You didn't have to do that tonight. Well, I did. <laughs> well, thank you. Yep. Nope. We're fine till tomorrow morning. We'll figure it out tomorrow morning. Okay, well, I guess I'll go do chores. Well, they're not too worried about it. They're going to hit beans tomorrow. I poked myself. Oh. They're going to do beans tomorrow, which means I'm going to go do chores. Let's run home real quick. I got all my hats in, and I want to explain to you uh, basically what they look like i want to show you if you haven't seen them already like a picture of them on instagram or on the youtube i'll show you what they look like and how to buy one if you're interested if you are that's awesome so let's run home real quick and i'll show you those hats so i'm going to try that new thing that everybody's doing where they click their fingers and then they're just boom at the spot where they're where they want to go i'm gonna give it a shot all right, take me home. Whoa! No. Nope, that's wrong. I don't like heights. And this thing's wobbly. Wrong. Haha. -ha. Very funny. Try again. What? Why am I in the middle of a field? Oh, this thing is not near as cool as everybody says. All right. Yep. I'm just gonna walk. <sighs> I don't know what your guys' trick is to getting that to work, but let me know. Yeah, you go. So, this is orange. Now it's not a neon orange, it's kinda just like a darker orange. Blue, lime green, and then this is the experiment one. This is the experiment one here. Uh, this is the JM Farm and Cattle logo. That is my brand. Now, they kind of took some stuff off here, like the corn and then the brand in there. And then obviously the circle rings and the Glenville, but that's all they could do on the hat, which it came out pretty dang good. So these are your four options. Um, the way this works, if you wanna buy these until I get a website set up, these come from in my local town. So in order to buy them, you have to email me at jmfarmandcattle at gmail.com. I will put a link right here. And you just tell me what color you want then I will send you an invoice uh, through PayPal on the email and you don't actually have to have a PayPal account. All you do is you just enter your credit card information, debit card, whatever you wanna do, but it's secured through PayPal, so it's fully secure uh, and it's really convenient. These hats are $25 plus $5 shipping and uh, on top of it, you'll get some bonus stuff. I'll throw in a couple koozies and some stickers and whatnot. But I only have a select few. I have like 15 or 16 of them. So first come, first serve on these. Uh, send me an email. For those of you that did send me an email, I am getting the invoices taken care of. I was waiting for boxes to show up so I could ship these out uh, to you guys. I will send you uh, the bill once the bill is paid through the Gmail, PayPal ordeal. Then I will send it out give you a tracking number you can track the package and it'll be at your doorstep before you know it We're just getting rolling with that planter that I switched over yesterday and we're uh, working on a quarter here my uncle's finishing up the ends on the dry land down the road 
and then he's coming here we're gonna put both planters on this field to get it done probably work with both planters about every field now for a while just because it's easier on the seed tender guy have the seed cart in one spot works a lot easier so we had a couple problems with the row units not wanting to go <clears throat> not wanting to plant like they're supposed to and one of them the vacuum suction wasn't on quite right